Good morning. Welcome back to Fishing with Nordby. It is early, it's the crack of dawn. We're out here at the Coosa Landing in Neely Henry. It's my first time ever fishing here. We got a BFL coming up tomorrow. I signed up as a boater and they needed boaters. They had 10 extra co-anglers. So I'm getting the boat ready. I'm gonna take the straps off. Just drove about an hour to get here and putting in a Coosa Landing. There's a little tackle shop here and there's a little bridge over here. It's way up the river on Neely Henry. So this is where the FLW is taken out of tomorrow. But I'm excited. We're going to try to get on some big old spotted bass today. Maybe some largies. We're just going to, have to see what happens. My plan is to try and fish shallow. Up here in the river they got current moving. They got bridges. They got docks. They got rocks. Should be some good stuff. Um, I don't know how much I'm going to set the hook today guys. I'll probably set the hook this morning. Some top water fish. But after that, you know, we fish some docks and stuff. I'm going to show you guys how I pre-fish and how I go around and, and shake them off. So I'm definitely excited to get going here. My buddy TJ and his buddy are supposed to be bringing their boats too. And we were going to do a little 1v1v1 this morning out of the boats. Might be him pulling in right now. So I don't know how we're going to do that because I'm not going to set the hook on everything. They are. They're not fishing the tournament. But we might do like... I don't know, top three fish. And if I catch them, I'll throw them in the well. I'll participate, but I'm gonna shake off some fish. We're just gonna see how they do, how they stack up. But it's five bass limit tomorrow, I believe. And it's supposed to be about 85 degrees each day. I'm excited, I'm pumped. We're gonna back the boat in, and hopefully TJ and them will be here soon. If not, I'm going fishing. It's gonna get light, top water bite's gonna be fire. So we better get out there, let's go. There's one. Let's go. There's one. I wasn't gonna set the hook, guys. There's one. These hooligans just showed up. We got TJ, Kayak USA. You've What's seen his channel. What's up? Go subscribe, Kayak USA. He's linked below. We got his uncle Chris and chase chris and chase just met these guys we're doing a 1v1v1 three boat challenge top three bass like i said we're pre-fishing today we might not set the hook on them all but we're still gonna participate and hopefully we'll win let's go you guys ready i'm ready all right we're gonna get at it we got we're gonna go till like 11 or 12 this morning and then weigh in so let's go guys i'm just gonna start out right here by the boat ramp there's always fish by boat ramps so why not we chuck around a buzz bait this morning see if we can get anything on it looks pretty good though looks like a river i like fishing rivers bet people are going to run down to more of the lake part but i'd like to stay up here in the river if i can something just swirled me guys that's a good sign. Let's drop back down even though I'm right here. See if whatever it is will eat it. Something swirled me. Just want to parallel all these rocks with this buzz bait cover more water that way it's in the strike zone longer there's one let's go first thing this morning guys I'm telling you that's like my fifth cast of the day we already got us a spotted bass look at that about a 14 incher that ain't bad i'm not going to show it to the boat behind me but that ain't bad at all let's go <laughs> there's so many boats that just put in at the boat ramp behind me oh gosh if i get bit i'm not setting the hook anymore this buzz bait that's sweet oh one just moved and missed it just have one go for it guys that's sweet There's one. 
I wasn't gonna set the hook, guys. What am I doing? Oh, what am I doing? Oh, it's a largey. Look at that. That's a good largey, guys. Heck yeah, that's like a 17 inch largey. There's no boats by me. Look at that. Um, two fish in like five minutes, guys. I'm gonna keep this one for a little tournament we're doing. Cause why not? I'll drop him back off here, but why not? So I know I told you this before, but bass have a natural hole in the top of their lip. These cold tags are not bad if you use them right. You put that cold tag right in the top of their lip there and wiggle it. There's a hole. It does not cut their lip. See, look, this fish has a big hole from somebody fishing the tournament. Look at that. Just shoved it through there. See where the hole stops? The hole you want to put it in is above that. That way you don't rip their lip like that. I'm gonna reel my buzz bait faster so that I don't get hits and uh, they miss it because they're crushing it right now. We gotta find the fish, but we don't wanna catch them all. I know there's a bunch here and they're gonna be pulling up here all morning. I'm gonna go check some other spots, probably leave this area. Water's a little dingy. Try throwing a black and blue. This is a new wire jig. You guys have seen me throw them before. I trimmed my skirt at the bottom of the hook. Spread my weed guard out just a little bit. Push it up, creates a little more tension. And go over the tip of the hook. That's how you want it. But we gotta get a black and blue trailer. Water's just a little dirty for that green pumpkin river current here so i'm throwing a three quarter ounce instead of a half and it gets to about 30 feet in the middle of the river so there's some steep drops where you do want a three quarter ounce gonna go straight up the rage crawl about as long as the shank of the hook is go over that weed guard mm. that is a juicy looking jig if i've ever seen one that's gonna get bit right guys Let's go. You always want to get that buzz bait back as far in there as you can. Or any lure you're throwing. All this overhanging stuff, you're gonna catch more fish. If you can get it way back up in there. It's hard to skip a buzz bait. But you just gotta keep it low. Cast it all the way back there. There's one. On the buzz bait. Largey. Another largey, okay. Shoot. Probably shouldn't have hooked that guy. But you can't really not hook him on a buzz bait. Can try not to hook him. There we go. Another one. He's gonna go towards the three bass limit. Nothing special, but keep him. Guys, I gotta leave. I gotta leave. That's a stud right there, guys. Look at that. That's a stud on the buzz bait. Sun's out, guns out. Let's go. Sun's out, guns out. <laughs> gonna act like I'm not doing anything like I'm drinking a little bottle of water we got a bass boat driving by let's go how about those three how about those three wow okay okay I guess I'll keep going the black and blue buzz bait guys this thing's amazing the juice i don't really want to tell you what it is i catch them on it everywhere it's got three blades it's a i'll link it below you guys can go check it out i'm not going to tell you but i do have it linked in my gear in the description if i get hit again i'm not setting the hook i'm gonna let him swim around with this buzz bait until he lets go because man i've had the camera off until i 
get bit you didn't get to see the blow up but man he crushed it right up in the weeds see the bubbles right there i just had a bass the same size as the last one i caught bust the buzz bait man he annihilated it he annihilated it so i'm marking this spot wow absolutely demolished it i'm not setting the hook anymore see those splashes i just had another one blow up on it it was a smaller one though probably like a 13 or 14 incher all right we're gonna jump over to the other side of the river because the sun's on that side it's all gonna be shaded it's 7 30 so the bass are gonna slowly fade out on top water assuming they will they might not we'll we'll try it all day today but we're gonna go to the shaded side because that should be better top water hey guys one hit the buzz bait just a little guy that's about as big as your bait your bait's about that big yeah. <laughs> we're going under a bridge I have to duck down. I'm going to have to put my power poles down a little bit. But we're going. Got my power poles down. Fit back in here perfectly. A little hidden area. I think my boat can fit through there. We're going to try. I'm going to fish around here first. This looks amazing. My map shows me this thing stops right here. But it keeps going for sure. A little update. I've been throwing a buzz bait. All morning, main river, there's been a tiny bit of current, but now we're going through this huge tunnel. Way back here where my graph said there's not even water, it's beeping at me like, what are you doing? And we caught them pretty good this morning on a buzz bait, guys. I got three in the well. Uh, it's kind of hard not to set the hook on a buzz bait, but hopefully that'll do good in the little tournament we're doing. I'm gonna try to shake everything off the rest of the day though. We're just getting out here, look at this. Got grass, open area. It's like a little private pond back here, guys. I'm excited. I might have to break out the Senko, fish a little slower because there's not current, and see if we can get some to bite. I bet some pigs just live back in here. So that's exciting. Let's see if we can get on a few. I'm excited. Throw this wacky rig out there weightless right next to shore. Let it sink down. Twitch it a couple times on the way down. Let it do its thing. When it gets hot and sunny out mid-morning, mid-morning lull, it's a good technique right here. Oh my gosh, I got a stud. I didn't mean to set the hook on him. I got an absolute stud. Dang it. Five or six? <laughs> he, he, no. On this river, like a four pounder is a stud. I just caught a four. Uh, Whoops. So well, you guys have a little competition between yourself then or something? Yeah, we, we do. We're doing a little fun competition. So now I got two that are about three and a half pounds in the well. Yeah. So I've just been chucking around the Castaic Atlas Spinnerbait, White and Chartreuse. Just been kind of trolling, motoring around, fishing. Fishing the edge of rocks, riprap, the edge of grass. That last one came on the edge of grass, but it was out from some rocks. Really good looking spot. And I didn't even try to set the hook on him i like lifted up on him and somehow he jerked down and got hooked when i was just trying to shake him off um that was a good one though that's gonna help out my three fish weight for the for this video but i did not want to catch that one for the bfl tournament tomorrow just trying to find where the fish are at should have bent my hook in probably but oh well it's just a bfl so I'm starting to look out deep and I want to show you what a brush pile looks like that's loaded with crappie. Look at that. That's nuts. The brush pile is on the bottom there. It comes up a couple feet. All of those are fish above it. Those are all fish. There's probably like a hundred fish in this one brush pile. So that's what you're looking for if you're crappie fishing. Um, there could be some bass in there. I marked it. I'll probably cast in it on tournament day. But for right now, we're gonna go keep looking. All right, I got smoked on the deep crank as I was bringing it up. That's a good one. Just kidding. 
Well, Bink, <laughs> I hooked him in the side of the head. Wow, I thought I had me a good one on, guys. Oh my, little spot. Little bitty spot. And what's crazy is they're loaded down here below me right now. This could be an area I come and get my co-angler limit real quick if I'm sitting all right. I'd like to do that if I can tomorrow. Wow, yeah, they're loaded down below me. Loaded. <laughs> they're suspended too. They're suspended at 10 feet and we're in 22 foot. They're loaded though. There we go, there's one guys. Let's go. Let's go. Giant, giant spotted bass. That is what we're after. Not nice little guy though. Shaky head. Bridge piling. You can never go past a, a bridge piling that's in 10 to 15 foot and not fish it. There's so many fish by those. We're about to weigh them up. I just caught one on a black and blue jig. A little spotty. We're gonna weigh them up here. That's funny. All right, TJ goes, you, you going first? We are sitting here, we're gonna weigh them up. TJ, TJ's gonna go first after this boat goes by. One, but it's folded up in my live wheel like this. You got a giant? All right, here we go. We'll, we'll weigh them if we need to, but if we can tell the difference, I think we'll call it good. You gotta get me some culling balls, Andrew. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> monster, monster. It's a tank. What a tank. That's it. Hey, you didn't get skunked, bro. You I said you caught some, some white bass. You gonna weigh next? All right. Here we go, Chris and Chase. Weighing them up, what do we got? What do you think, man? You mean, you can give me three quarters of a pound for this one? I'll give you a full pound. I'll give me a full pound. All right, All right. we got a pound. I don't think there's any point in weighing them. There we but. go. There we go. All right. All right. There we go. We'll call him two. Okay. <laughs> you got, we got, you three, got pounds. three pounds. Three pounds. Okay. Solid. Solid. Right. Chase, you were supposed to pull the other one out. Yeah. First. My bad. That's the last <laughs> I Three and a half pounds. Like there I called it. Three and a half pounds. There you go. <laughs> All right. So they're going with three and a half. Hey, how many fish do you catch? You think? Uh, we. Uh, how about six? Maybe. About six. Sweet, sweet. On your, All right, you guys. It over. TJ's gonna hop on and film me. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. We'll uh, let yours <laughs> sit on spot lock. Let's see what we got. Pull out the big one. Woo. Dang, that's a good go. one, Norby. That ain't bad. He's kind of skinny. There you go. Look at wow, his. Look at his gill. <laughs> look at his gill. All messed up. Oh wow. He's been up shallow. I think he's got some green grass rubbed off on him there. I'm gonna take these fish back to where I caught them, just in case they want to bite in the BFL tomorrow. <laughs> and there's this guy. I think he's a spot. Yeah. What oh, do you wow. think? Wow, that is nice. There's two. We got three and three and a half. Easy. Maybe. Easy. There's six and a half. All right. And then. There's that another dude. good two and a half. Two and a half. So we'll go with nine. Nine pounds. I'm going to go take those back to where I caught them. But awesome. Got the dub today, folks. <laughs> Stays that way tomorrow. I know Should've it. I know tomorrow. it. I hope so. Hope I didn't catch all my fish. How many boats are going to be here tomorrow, you think? I think there's going to be like 100 boats tomorrow. Wow, I but, might come up here for William. Yeah. Just check it out. All right, guys. Had like nine, nine to ten pounds. Have fun. Have fun fishing, guys. Have fun. It's always fun, friendly competition. But I don't need those fish today. I need them tomorrow. And I don't know if I can catch them tomorrow, you know. I uh, I shook probably four, four or five fish off today. But, um, yeah, we're just going to see how it goes tomorrow. I'm going to fish the rest of the afternoon. That's going to be in the next video you guys are going to see. Hope you enjoyed this episode. And uh, we're going we're gonna to get back out there this afternoon. And tonight we're going to go get some lunch. There's places to eat on the river. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Subscribe for more. We'll catch you next time here on Fishing with Norby.